The Independent is reporting on an amazing scientific breakthrough when it comes to aging. They say an anti-aging pill that could help us live up to a decade longer has moved a step closer with the discovery of a key component of the aging process. Protein molecules known as GSK3 are responsible for shortening our natural lives, according to a new study which suggests that life could be prolonged by effectively switching them off. Experiments with fruit flies, which also have the GSK3 protein, found that the molecule could be inhibited by low-level lithium use, which extended their lives by 16%. This has raised hopes that lithium, or more likely another similar drug with fewer side effects, could eventually be turned into a tablet to prolong human life. Wow, this is a fucking amazing story, and God damn it, I love science. You know, I've said it before, but science actually does what religion only wishes it can do. So, when somebody is terminally ill, they're on death's doorstep, they feel horrible. You know, they're like, oh god, I, you know, I, they hope there's something bigger and something more out there, and they just wish to relieve themselves of the pain and feel better. Well... <laughs> Here you have science, they're actually working on those problems! Obviously there's uh, pain medication and there's uh, certain kinds of therapy, LSD and MDMA, as recent studies have shown, that help relieve the emotional stress and pain of that. Now we're learning we can extend life a decade longer potentially with this new anti-aging pill. So you actually can avoid suffering, you can avoid pain, you can reach a state of happiness and bliss and thrive through science! Now, obviously, we've also <laughs> ended up creating nuclear weapons, which is the opposite, and it's the horrible aspect of humanity. But the potential to make human life better, and the potential to uh, try to foster what is effectively a heaven on Earth, is something that's uh, possible only through science, because they're actually problem-solving. And guys, the, the found of youth is right around the corner. I mean... I don't know if we'll ever actually get a just an out and out fountain of youth and hey, you could live forever if you want to. But is there going to be a way to extend the average age of life to about 100 years? Right now I think it's about 78 or 80 or something like that. Yeah, there's going to come a way I think soon to extend our lives to 100 years on average. Then will it be 150? Yeah, they'll come up with something. 200? All you have to do is find what uh the aging process is, what facilitates it, and how to reverse those individual things, like the individual symptoms of aging, and then, yeah, you could do it. I mean, there are people, I forget his name now, God, this is the worst time to blank, but there's um, one of these futurist kind of scientists who's been talking about this for a while now, he's like, oh yeah, it's totally possible, we're going to reverse aging at some point, like, we're going to make it so you can live forever. And then obviously there are broader implications, what the fuck do we do? about overpopulation, people obviously, how are you going to have babies anymore if everybody's living forever? So there's a million and one things that we have to think about from an ethical perspective and a cultural perspective, but man, it's a weird time to be alive. I mean, I was born in 88, and I kind of grew up with the internet, and now we're starting to see the beginning phases of true AI and stuff like that, which is mind-blowing. But even with anti-aging stuff, like, okay, we grew up vaccines and stuff, that obviously extends life and makes it better, and pain management, like, all that stuff is there, antibiotics. But now we're moving into, like, another generation, where it looks like there's no stopping this march towards the future technologically and medicinally. And uh, it's both really scary and a really hopeful time. It's this weird mix of emotions that I get when we talk about it.